Hey there, today is Thursday and you're watching a very charming vlog. Okay, so first thing I wanted to say was, Sean, I love Repo the Genetic Opera. It is amazing and awesome and intense and awesome and I like it. Um, Lauren, yes, Harry Potter. I guess everyone. We all love Harry Potter. Right now, I am for the first time watching a very Potter musical. And it's cool and it's totally awesome. Um, really, really fun. It's good. I'm going to continue watching it after I vlog today and let you guys know how I like it, I guess. Uh, what else? So, it's Canada. Northern Canada. It's November, which means winter's coming, and I'm totally terrified because I don't like winter. I mean, I like looking at the snow, but I don't like how cold it is. Uh, one of my responsibilities at school is to change that sign out front, and they slide in the letters. So I was doing that today, and it started to hail, and I almost died. Okay, no, I didn't almost die, because I know people will comment, like, I saw you, you didn't die. But... It wasn't cool because I was changing the sign and then my hands were cold and I couldn't hold the letters. It was bad. It was very bad. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Hmm. Now I remember. Um, on Saturday, the Saturday that just passed, Lauren and I were driving along and we saw a place that Heather, you would love to explore. It was in LA Fitness, but they had really just constructed the frame and the walls. So there were no windows or doors or anything inside, or I don't know what was inside, but it just looked pitch black inside. It looked really awesome and scary, and I know, Heather, you might want to explore there, but JR, Lauren, and I might want to write a zombie apocalypse scene there. Um, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? Hmm. Actually, I think of places to write zombie apocalypse uh, scenes a lot. Also, like, this, this gas station that Lauren and I passed, and the sign was, like, flickering, and, like, one of the signs flickered and then went out, and we're like, that's so cool. I've also wanted, there's a place in Toronto, well, kind of a thing in Toronto, it's, like, an underground pathway, and it's got food courts and stuff, and I really wanted to set a zombie apocalypse novel there, because it'd be so cool, because it's underground. Uh, yeah, zombies. That seems to be the topic of the day for me. So on Huffington Post, they had this thing where they put up some of the most awesome detention slips of all time, and it's called Punish for Being Awesome, the most ridiculous detention slips of all time. And they're actually scans of detention slips that were given out to students for being awesome. Um, there's a lot of that's what she said. But my favorite is a student named Anthony. So he got detention for disrupting class by standing, unbuttoning his shirt to reveal a Superman t-shirt, and announcing that he was Superman. Come on, what kind of lame teacher gives out detention for that? That's just, that's not cool. You're awesome if you do that. Uh, yeah, so that was my interesting thing of the day. Hope you guys have a good week. Don't forget to be awesome.